Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Tropical in HL back at it again for a brand new YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about the Montreal Canadiens and we're going to be talking about something that I thought about last night. I was looking at some highlights of Kirby Doc, Nick Suzuki, Cole Caulfield. I was looking at some videos surrounding the Montreal Canadiens and by looking at this, I was just like, all right, we talk often about the duo of Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield, how they've been playing together for the last three seasons. I mean, they played good together. They have decent chemistry. They are playing well together. But might, they, there might be some other possibilities. I mean, we're always stuck with the Caulfield and Suzuki duo that we kind of overlook things. And we kind of expect them to always play together. And it might not be the best thing to do. I mean, if you separate them, you have a way better Top six, in my opinion, and Cole Caulfield could have some decent chemistry as well with another halves player. And we saw some flashes last season when they played together on the same line with Nick Suzuki. And the player is Kirby Doc. Could Kirby Doc and Cole Caulfield form a decent dynamic duo? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Before getting into that, I invite you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, 75% of the people watching the videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you want to help me out, reach my objective of gaining to 5k subscribers before the start of training camp that would be absolutely amazing we're like 700 away so if the 70 percent of people watching that are not subscribed subscribe we're gonna get close to that objective as well as the like button let's try and get 125 likes on this video that would be absolutely awesome so yeah like i said we always think when we talk about dynamic duo with the montreal canadians we always think about suzuki and caulfield yes they've been great together yes they have some decent chemistry but is it the best thing that we can bring out of those two players? I don't think so. Yes, they've been great together. Yes, they've been scoring some absolute nasty goals, most of them being on the power play. But when you look at things overall, they haven't been that efficient at five on five in both ways of the of the game in both spaces of the game yes they've been getting some goals yes they've been scoring some highlight real goals but is it the best that we can get i mean can we try and play cole caulfield with another sentiment like kirby doc for example i mean kirby doc is big kirby doc has some decent amount of uh, offensive potential and i feel like he could be a better fit for what Cole Caulfield is capable of bringing on the ice. I mean, he's big. He's using his body properly. He's been getting to, to learn how to use his body. Uh, makes amazing passes. And he works hard in the corners. I mean, he plays a similar type of game to Vincent Le Cavalier from when he was playing with the Tampa Bay Lightning. And Cole Caulfield also plays a similar type of game to a former Tampa Bay Lightning player and active coach of the Montreal Canadiens in Martin St. Louis. So can we try and replicate what the Tampa Bay Lightning had back then with the dynamic duo of Vincent Le Cavalier and Martin St. Louis with Kirby Doc and Cole Caulfield? Because they have two types of hockey style of play that works really, really well together. And like I said, we saw some flashes last year. There's a couple of goals coming from Cole Caulfield that were coming from Kirby Doc. Kirby Doc created the play. Cole Caulfield ended up with the puck and scored the goal. Because when you look at statistics, Cole Caulfield had a better point and goal production when Kirby Doc was on the line alongside Nick Suzuki that when he was alone on the line with Suzuki with another player like Josh Anderson, for example. It was the same thing in the first year they played together back in the playoffs in 2021. Cole Caulfield was better when he was playing with Tyler Toffoli on the line alongside Nick Suzuki. The year after, when Tyler Toffoli was injured, Caulfield and Suzuki played together on the line and Caulfield struggled a lot more. So when Caulfield and Suzuki are alone on that line with a winger that doesn't work as well with Cole Caulfield and doesn't work out. So would it be a great idea to just try Kirby Doc with Cole Caulfield and just let Nick Suzuki play and try with some other wingers? Kirby Doc at the center position and Cole Caulfield on the wing. I think it could be worth trying it. Like, we always have Suzuki Caulfield, Suzuki Caulfield. Like, they have to be together. Yes, it works fine, but I would be open to try something else. Like, like I said, Doc and Caulfield. And we could try someone else with Nick Suzuki. I mean, there's Alex Newhook right now 
with the Canadians. And I think that Suzuki and Newhook could complement each other really, really well. And when you add up a guy like Sofkowski to that mix, you have a pretty decent line. And with Cole Caulfield and Kirby Doc, you can add up a guy like Sean Monahan, Emil Einemann, a bigger guy that can shoot the puck really, really well. And forming a line of Caulfield, Doc, and Sofkowski could be pretty decent. Even Josh Anderson could fit in there pretty well. Rafael Harvey Pinot, there's a couple of options that could work really well. So yes, having Kirby Doc as the centerman of Cole Caulfield would be certainly something that needs to be looked at. I mean, in the preseason game, I want them to try it out. I want to see Cole Caulfield on the wing of Kirby Doc as the centerman with another player, whether if it's Slavkovsky, Anderson, no matter who it is, I want to see Kirby Doc be the center of Cole Caulfield, at least for a couple of games, just to see how things would turn out. Otherwise, you'll never know, because we always been trying Suzuki Caulfield, Suzuki Caulfield, Suzuki Caulfield, Suzuki Caulfield, but yes, it's been working really well. Yes, it's been working fine, but is it the best of what we can bring? No, it's not. In my opinion, it's not the most efficient. They're not the most efficient duo, and I feel like Doc and Caulfield would complement each other pretty well. At least to give it a shot, at least to try it out. Like I said, there's a couple of comparables, Vincent de Cavalier and Martin St. Louis being one of them. And yes, both of them are now members of the Montreal Canadiens organization. They are working in the system, Martin St. Louis being a coach, Vincent Le Cavalier being an advisor. So yes, they could definitely try and replicate what was in Tampa Bay a couple of years back with Le Cavalier and St. Louis with Kirby Doc and Cole Caulfield, because like I said earlier, they play a similar type of game. Like I said, I definitely do think that Nick Suzuki could work really well with a guy like Alex Newhook on the wing. I mean, Alex Newhook plays a game that could complement Nick Suzuki really well. He's fast, he has a really decent hockey IQ, and he can score some goals. So yes, having Suzuki with Newhook and Doc with Caulfield would help the top six be better and it would help the Montreal Canadiens have more dangerous lines because last year they only had one. They had one dangerous line when everybody was healthy. It was Suzuki, Doc and Caulfield and you kind of need to divide the, the talent in the top six so you can get more dangerous lines you really need to try things out because only having one line is not gonna work like the other team is just gonna send their best player against that line they're gonna attack with the second line and they're gonna get the best out of it like the Habs need to divide the talent in uh, a couple of lines so, so they can be more dangerous uh, every time they're on the ice so yes i feel like dividing suzuki and caulfield separating them could be a thing that they could try out like i said kirby doc and cole caulfield would work well together we saw some flashes last year and yes they need to try it out training camp it's time to try it out and if it works well you start the season like that like it would work. And I could definitely see Sofkowski play with Nick Suzuki because your eyes Sofkowski needs to get more ice time. He needs to get to be comfortable and play with the captain. Playing with Nick Suzuki would only help him out. And you can still play Caulfield and Suzuki together on the power play because uh, it works really well. So yeah, let me know what you guys all think about this. Are you guys sticking with Caulfield and Suzuki? You don't touch that line or do you guys are you guys hoping to try Kirby Doc with Cole Caulfield? Because like I said, it's just like St. Louis and the Cavalier. They play a similar type of game for the both of them. And I think that it could be a decent thing to give a shot at. So yeah, let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, share, do anything as you want. It's been your boy Tropical in each channel. And I'll see y'all later for another video. Have a nice rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your summer and bye-bye.